a narrow river, a narrow pass. Narrow streets and yards. Narrow windows. Narrow eaves and the narrow strip of sky above them. Why then is this village called Shiroka Lika, or Broad Meadow? Because, as poet Dmitry Zlatov has said, the people in this part of Bulgaria are broad-hearted. Shiroka Lika. Upon seeing the village for the first time, writer Olympian exclaimed, a diamond from the crown of the creator. singer Vaska Sarieva, herself a native of Shiroka Luka. This is one of the most poetical Bulgarian folk songs, a hymn to the beauty of Rodopi women. The master builders had their own inimitable way of using stone and timber to create beautiful architectural forms, covering them with slate roofs on which the chimneys look like bird nests of stone. The houses of the Karov clan. In the beginning there was only one of them. Then when the first son was born, the father built another one, then one more and so on. And here they are today, the Karov houses, the symbolic home of hundreds of Karovs, all of them industrious and bright people, like so many others in the Radopi mountains. Sixty-four of them have higher education. In an empire known for its backwardness, this architecture outgrew its time 
developing its own ideas of volume, space, symmetry and color. Masons, joiners and wood carvers displayed a lot of artistic imagination in their trade. The fame of the Shiroka Luka building school spread far and wide, while the name of Master Manol, who built the seven vaulted bridges in the village, became a legend. These parts are believed to be the birthplace of Orpheus, the singer whose lyre outsang even the nightingales and whose magic voice charmed even the wild beasts into submission. A land of stone and silence. The remains of a human endeavor still smolder in the dead ruins of time. It is believed that Patriarch Eutymius was buried here. Maybe this is why the sanctuary was burned down twice. These parts too were swept over by the barbaric hordes of the Turkish conquerors and the mountain moaned under torrents of blood and fire but never disgraced itself. Perhaps it was during the times of the blood-stained crescent that the Rarupi people came to resent the prefix half, which changes the true meaning of many a word. Half people, half state, half love, or half hatred. The people in these parts are particularly sensitive to strong and sacred words. It is only the weak that great suffering humiliates. The strong it elevates and makes them even stronger. The last Bulgarian fortress to fall under Ottoman domination was in this mountain. The first church in the village was built within a matter of days by the back-breaking labor of men, women, old people and children. A strong hold of the Bulgarian spirit against Muslim and Greek influence. A citadel against the Asian oppressor. This is what a typical Radopi home looked like, put together with a sense of beauty and coziness, and with much love and devotion to everything native. Can you hear them, these strange and undecipherable sounds, rhythms and dance tunes which have survived whole centuries and outlived civilizations? celebration in honor of the god Dionysus, a remote echo of pagan festivals of fertility, an undying spark of ancient folk festivities.
As night falls, the children begin their own celebration of Mama's Day, like tiny flickering lights coming from the darkness of history. that earth here. The white bones of the heroes are embraced by the roots of age-old trees. Monuments and memorial plates glow with the light of the stakes on which the bravest and the worthiest have died in times of war and insurrection. Modern architecture of Shiroka Luka betrays a striving to keep tradition alive and revive the old crafts. The new administrative and residential buildings blend harmoniously with the landscape and the older structures, just as the everyday life and culture of the Radupi people 
of today harmonize with the environment. The people from these parts cherish their time-honored traditions. everyday scenes in Shiraka Luka. The local people are honest, hardworking and modest. Compared with big towns and villages, their everyday life seems uneventful and undisturbed. But what they do is as unnecessary as any human activity creating material and cultural values. Skiing is a traditional sport in the Radopi Mountains. It is here, amid the white splendor of the mountain peaks, that the youngest skiers take their first lessons. Maybe in time they will follow in the footsteps of skiers like Kristana Stoiva, Dubrinka Kasherova, Sika Karan Liku and others, who claim top achievements in Bulgarian and world sport. Pamporovo, a white fairy tale, a snowy wonder whose beauty attracts tourists from all over the world. The prospects for the development of this part of the Radopi Mountains 
are linked to the planned construction of a big international resort to be called Orpheus. It will also include the Perelic area, whose beautiful landscape offers excellent possibilities for tourism and sport. Other villages in the Shirokiluka area are Stoikite, Gela, Solista and Verbo. It is in this part of the Rodopi Mountains that the rivers Lodja, Lukovice and Lomskareka have their beginning. The valley is surrounded by the Perilik and Karalik massifs and the Chernatice and Perseng summits. houses are like old ships. Before their walls of stone and wood crumble and their dust sinks into the sea of oblivion and before the waves of the future restore them to their original national revival style and bring them back to life, let's have one more look at them as they stand today and try to remember them. Here the mountain abounds in beautiful localities and natural sites including age-old woods, caves, rocky peaks, etc. It would be no exaggeration to say that the Shiroko Luka area itself is a beautiful natural site, only 100 kilometers from Plovdiv and some 20 kilometers from Smolyan, Devin and Cepelare.
clan reunions on St. Ilias Day. Each Radupi clan have their own point, their family tree under which they gather on this holiday. These reunions are warm, emotional and moving. Indeed, it is difficult to enumerate all the clans, let alone find out the exact number of their members. For the Buchukov clan, however, everything is known. The roots of their family tree have spread far and wide in the land, and today the living Buchukovs number more than 2,000. The Bulgarian Choro Dance, a dance of unity and attachment in which the rhythm of the bagpipe sounds like the beat of an excited human heart and the stamping of the feet shows how the people, by playing the Choro Dance, are actually talking to their land. За мен като народна певица и педагог, това училище ми е особено скъпо и съкновено. За мен като народна певица и педагог, това училище ми е особено скъпо и съкновено. Аз регулирам моята активите като школа мистерът, изключително важна за изкъпване и промоцията на ванг талант, които дава инспирация от трезърната хаус на етерна българия и национална традиция. Established in 1971 on the personal initiative of the country's leader Todor Zhivkov, the secondary musical school in Shiroke Luka is a specialized institution which has three basic tasks, namely to discover, preserve and popularize the rich musical folklore of Bulgaria. Today the school contributes its share to the enhancement of our national awareness. It is a center of patriotism and attracts more and more young talents who are in love with folk music. After their graduation, they become ardent defenders and popularizers of our precious folkloric tradition. This is also proved by the successful performance of many of our pupils at regional, national, international and world musical events. The day of Cyril and Methodius. The day of the great Slav enlighteners was first celebrated in Shiroka in 1865. More than three decades before that, the village saw the opening of its first school, whose threshold was first crossed by teacher Atanas Grigorov. Later, in 1872, the outstanding educationalist Georgi Bogdanov introduced secular education and founded the first community center in the village. More school buildings were built after the country's liberation from Ottoman domination. In 1888 and later in 1937 and 1979, when the secondary musical school, where only Bulgarian folk tunes and songs are studied, played and sung, was opened. So far, a total of more than 5,000 young people have received their secondary education here. 400 of them have already completed their university education, and some 20 of them are professors, associate professors, and holders of other scholarly degrees.
the celebration of the 150th anniversary of the opening of the first school in this region of spirited people, dominated by an air of national revival traditions. As a folk saying has it, talent works wonders. Who knows, maybe some of these Rodopi children will one day try, like Orpheus, to outsing the nightingales. On the hill outlining the boundaries of Bulgaria, like the crown of a family tree, thousands of singers and musicians show through their performances before an audience of 160,000 that the Bulgarian national spirit here is sacred and eternal, so long as it is fought for not only by sword, but also by song. The traditional Rosen festival. Big folk festivals are spontaneous, requiring no advanced publicity or preparations, let alone accommodation for visitors. True patriots come to this mountain summit from all parts of Bulgaria to spend a day and a night in the open under the high Rodopi sky with its eagles and falcons, birds of song, heavy dragon clouds and thunderbolts. Here one can hear the ringing of sheep bells, the sweet voice of the shepherd's flute, the melodious strings of the bailama. Yet all that seems to be dominated by the powerful voice of the big bagpipe. It is a strange, primordial and a little armed voice, which sounds like a sigh coming from the roots of the Rodopi family trees. Eternal and restless like the Bulgarian spirit and solemnly proud like the green forests of the mountain peaks around. No celebration is imaginable without a choro dance. Here on the meadows of Rozin, it seems endless, winding as it is past podiums, makeshift stages, tents and buses, going uphill and descending on the other side, colorful, exalted, inimitable, a waving ring of human joy. The song Delhi has become a rebel, a Bulgarian message of genius flying in outer space on the wings of the great human hope that somewhere very far from here, in another galaxy and in another world, the voice of Rodopi folk singer Valia Balkanska, the voice of small singing Bulgaria will be heard.